Hey everyone, today we're going to be going over on-page uh, optimization. This is another tutorial provided by Compete Now, WordPress and eMarketing tutorials that give you the keys to your web presence, put you in fast success. Plenty more on our website at stockcompeting.com slash tutorials. As we all know, we want to try to drive as much traffic to our website as possible. Therefore, it's very important on each page to at least do the basics of um, search engine optimization on your page. Um, I'm going to be going through some of the very simple strategies that you can do if you're just a web blog or website owner and you're not an SEO expert. Um, there's no guarantee that just by doing this alone you will be on page one, but it will help you in the long run and it is a best practice, so that's what we're going to go over today. Um, so what I'm going to do is add a new blog post and then demonstrate how we can add more and more um, SEO tactics to that page. Okay, so now we're going to add a new blog post, and uh, there's a few things to keep in mind. Um, whatever the topic of the blog post is, is what you want to get found on the internet for. So, uh, depending on industry, it could be a whole number of topics, but uh, we'll act like I'm going to write one. So I'm going to write about how to how to get more traffic online. So, um, so now is somebody really going to is somebody going to search how am I going to get more traffic online, or are they going to search drive more traffic to my website? increase business for my website. Um, so I'm going to kind of combine that a little bit. So I'll, I'll start the title with increase um, how about increase traffic to my website through search engine optimization. And then they might add a how to in the beginning. All right, so how to increase my website traffic through search engine optimization. So now, you see it is a little bit long of a title. Let's see if it fits into what we have right here is the. Um, I'm actually using the plugin WordPress SEO by Yoast. I had made a separate tutorial on installing and configuring that plugin. And. Um, you know, if you're depending on the theme, you can use a number of SEO plugins. This is the one I recommend. Uh, but this is how you can ed edit some SEO settings on on page if you don't have one installed already. I would recommend SEO by Yoast. If you don't have it, I pasted the the link to that in the description for the video, and you can download it and then uh, proceed with um, optimizing your pages. So you can see here that. This is basically a, it's called the snippet preview. This is what it will look like if the page was on Google, in a Google search uh, right now. So you can see that it is too long, how to increase traffic to my website through search engine, and then it's cut off. Now, a lot of people that, a lot of people might not even know what search engine optimization is. Therefore, they might not even be searching for it. Um, what they will be typing in, though, I believe, more likely, is how to increase traffic to my website. So that is um, more important to me to have in the title than the search engine optimization. What I'll do is change that to SEO. So just keep that in mind. Try to keep your titles um, in check. So I'm just going to copy that. <coughs> I always like to put it in my SEO title down here. And you'll notice that most most um, SEO tools have a similar setup to this, to SEO by Yoast. Uh, Yoast is just my uh, preference. So when you add that in, this is what it will come up. Now we want to pick, a, pick our focus keyword. That is the number one keyword that, and we only want one that's going to that's going to be really focused on by the search engines and and uh, related to this page. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make mine increase traffic to my website. So it's a phrase. That's that's what I'm assigning here. All right. So now you can see I'm getting some scores already. You want to make sure that this phrase is in the title, and you also want to make sure it's in your meta description. Meta description is what goes right under the link um, when you're doing a Google search. So if I search now, search engine optimization, you can see how you get this little snippet. That's what we're determining right now. And that also has a character limit. So we're going to say in this blog post, I will give up, give up all the secrets for 
that will show you how to increase traffic. So now what we can see here is sometimes it can be harder to get these terms in. This is why we're going to make the video. So my keyword I'm trying to do is increase traffic to my website. Here I can't really type my website, but what I'll do is in this blog post, increase traffic to your website. What I'm going to do is go back to the beginning and add a question. You ever asked how can I increase <laughs> traffic to my website. Now I'm going to take this out because as you can see I'm still a little bit too long on the description so I'm going to say I'm going to delete this. Oops. And now you can see it's now in the description. So I have um, you can see it's bolded, so if somebody searches this term, it's going to bold it in the results. So you see increased traffic to my website is, is nice and bolded here, and also in the meta description. That's just going to help, you know, the, the main part of the battle is just getting onto that page with the other search results. The other half of the battle is um, getting them to click on your listing. So if you have something like this that is very related to that term they searched, you're more likely to get that click. Two more areas we need we need it in the content, we need it in the page URL, and we also need to add some meta keywords. For the keywords, I usually like to do five or six per page. So for one, I'll say increase traffic, increase website traffic. These don't have to be specifically from that focus keyword. These can be different. And I will put search engine optimization in here. And I will put SEO, and I'll put um, uh, more website visitors, uh, SEO strategies, and, and all that, and try to get the rest of those in. I've seen people put as many as 50 keywords in the meta keyword section. If you want to do that, that's fine. Um, but a lot of, from what I've, what I've learned and heard, you really should do about five or six per page, and it's even better to make them more customized by the page. All right, so then in the content area, this is where I would actually write about how to increase traffic to the site, because the search engines do prefer to actually send people to useful pages. So if I just do a title and all these keywords, and uh, people are going to be mad at the search engine, people aren't going to use it. That's why they want to try to send them to the, the best blog posts. So what we're going to say is, I'll do the same thing I did in the meta. Have you ever asked yourself? Or I could say, like many business owners, you may have asked yourself uh, at some point may yourself How can I increase traffic to my website? The answer is this. I wish I had one answer for you, but I'm just giving you one tactic right now that will help you in the long run. What we're going to do, I'll just uh, go ahead and pu publish that post. All right. And as I scroll down, you can see I have all yeses on here and you can see this plugin does give you an SEO score so right now I'm on poor let's go over why because we have done all the basics but it still does come down to content um, if I go to my page analysis you can see that the number one reason why this post is not going to get found by search engines is because there's 24 words in my um, body in my copy so I wrote one sentence um, 
So you want to have, you want to definitely increase that, and you want to have your keywords and your terms in there as much as possible. Um, there's no images on the page. Uh, you, it's usually good to have an image on the page, and then also um, that is something I should cover. So when when you do add an image to the page, you're not done there. So if we go to add media, I'm just going to add a random image to the page. Um, let's add a cupcake here. Alright, put the size in. What you want to do is, when you do add that title, add that image, you'll say cupcake image search engine. Or I'll say increase traffic. Traffic to your website. I'll copy that. Put in the alt. alt put it, make sure you put it in the alt text also. I'll just zoom in on that real quick. Uh, you want to make sure your alt text is filled in, your title's filled in. Okay. What I'm going to do is insert that into the post, update it. Now we have an image in the post, but it's still you still need to put a lot more content in the actual blog post itself. And then you need to share it across all the all anything that you can, Facebook, Twitter, try to get it all over the place, try to get another blog post, try to get people to, to link back to it, because that's going to be one of the biggest things that affects whether anybody ends up seeing the post that you work so hard on. All right, so that's just simple on-page SEO. Um, hope it helped. Um, you can subscribe to our channel, or you can join our email list on our website. Um, more tutorials on our website at starcompeting.com slash tutorials.